Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? My name is Mobile Zane, and welcome back to the channel for another daily giveaway and another daily Mobile Legends guide. So, all you have to do to join the giveaway, you guys know the drill by now. Write a normal comment with your Mobile Legends in game ID and hashtag giveaway at the end of that comment, and two of you guys will be chosen randomly. And I'll follow you back. So, of course, in order to be friends, you have to follow my ID right up here. You also have to have those notifications on and uh, being subscribed as well. Make very important to have those notifications on lately because the streams have been bugging out, uh, so it's pretty unfortunate. But we'll get through this, anyways. Hope you guys enjoy this guide. I think it'll really help a lot of you guys. Depending on you know you don't know what to draft in Mobile Legends for Hyper Carry, this is your way of knowing that. Also, part two will be coming soon, so don't worry about all the heroes left out in this video because they'll be coming out in part two. All right, enjoy, guys. Yeah, yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Mobazan and welcome back to the channel. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how I draft my heroes in the way that I have the highest percentage of winning that match. Today's only going to be Marksman. Tomorrow I'll do Assassins hopefully. But even if you are an Assassin player, this could give you some pretty good insight onto what Marksmen are weak against which Assassins. And uh, yeah, let's just jump right into it. I have a list here. Number one is going to be Roger. By the way, this is in no particular order of how good or bad these heroes are. This is just off the top of my head. And Roger is a good with a lot of assassins due to his tank tankiness while also being good at diving marksmen. This makes him a pretty all-around pick. You could pick him last, you could pick him first, but usually whatever the enemy picks as a hyper carry is going to have a little bit of a tough time versus Roger. He can tank Ling, Lance, Hellkurt, Burst doesn't even do that much to him in his wolf form since it gives him armor and magic resistance. The only thing you have to look out for on Roger is a lot of CC heroes and mostly Atlas is what I find counters Roger. Um, that kind of hero that can just pick him up and you don't really use Purify on Roger. You're usually always going for Retribution or Execute to get the uh, execute will help you burst down enemies get your killing spree and get more chain kills since his first skill is similar to Karina ultimate and skills or retribution so you can go and invade he is a very very strong early game to late game his early game is one of the best in terms of hyper carry his level 2 cannot really be compared to any other hyper carry right now uh, besides maybe Lancelot's invading potential, which is what makes him almost one of the best hyper carries in this meta right now. He's literally good versus every other hyper carry. The only thing that counters him is enemy tanks usually, like Kufra, although Kufra should be okay, but mostly Atlas since you don't use that Purify. Alright, moving on from Roger, we're going on to Moskov. Moskov can usually uh, work well for several diving hyper carries like Ling, Hayabusa, Hellkurt, and Lance. But when there's too much dive in the enemy team, he usually isn't the best pick because he can't deal with all the pressure with just one knockback. You also do not want to be going Moskov when the enemy has a lot of range either. He's a very kind of specific hero. You don't want to be going versus an enemy with too much dive or too much range because he kind of gets countered by both. Something I find very annoying when I'm playing uh, Moskov is you'll be going versus a Hylos and let's say a Roger. You can only really choose one of those to knock back because the other one is just going to run up and start uh, slowing you down and killing you so usually you just want to be picking him versus one dive hero very much struggles against heroes that outrange him even more than dive heroes like bruno kimmy and some other non hyper carries like sicilian whenever i see sicilian i'm always wondering whether i should go moscow or not because he really is a pain he can always get that movement speed whenever he uses his skills and he's generally just pretty hard to get onto when you are on a moscow unless the sicilian is pretty bad but in most of my cases they uh they kind of know how to position so it's hard to dive onto them he's also pretty weak into heroes like Xborg and jawhead who cannot stun him with second skill and what i mean by that is when export and jawhead both use their ultimates they are immune to everything so he's very hard uh you'll have a tough time with moskov if you're trying to gank a lane with export unless you can really 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 throw that second skill quite fast to the point where the export loses his shield before he has a chance to use his ultimate and uh, i think you could actually pull that off then he's perfectly fine versus someone like export current spell i'm using for moskov is retribution so again that atlas pick is going to be a pain to deal with him all, all of the time i'm always getting picked up and thrown down by these atlases and it's super super annoying he can also do good versus kufra though this is something you might not have known since he can just dash away and uh, generally just stun the Kufra to the wall. Make sure you do not get hit by his jumper. Also, 
or you might be comboed with his ultimate as well and that could just straight up kill you if you're having too much trouble with getting dove on with moskov i would suggest using purify because like i said right now i'm using the uh, retribution killing spree combo which works out pretty well for invades which is usually my issue but if you feel like you're getting dove on too much or you need that purify feel free and go ahead to go use that and moving on from moskov is Yi sun shin he's another all-around hero very similar to roger nothing hurts him too badly in the hyper carry role except for maybe roger uh himself both of those usually very popular picks in tournaments even so you know these two uh mean some business the biggest counter to Yi Shin is when the enemy team is pretty tanky so you can't burst them with your passive basic attacks since he can't stay in fights long due to being a marksman, it makes it an awkward situation for any Yi Sun Shin player to actually be going versus several tanks. Jawhead could indeed be one of them, he's just way too tanky to deal with. Uh, for Yi Sun Shin's passive, if you're at even gold or you're not snowballed super hard, so we're going to be pretty tough to pick Yi Sun Shin into some of the uh, more tankier heroes. So whenever I pick Yi Sun Shin, I'm always looking for the enemy team to be at least a little bit squishy. Uh, don't want to be going versus too, ta too many tanks versus him at all. And moving on from Yi Sun Shin is going to be Bruno. It's best against other marksmen that he can outrange and burst, such as Claude Wano and Kerry, Granger, and Moskov. He isn't bad against assassins, it's just that he's not too good against them either. Same with Bruno against dive heroes. Um, if I'm trying to pick Bruno, usually it's because you want to be a little bit passive versus how much dive the enemy has. He could probably be a replacement for Moskov if you're, you know, facing a lot, a lot, a lot of dive heroes on the enemy team and you just want to be really passive. But he is slowly falling out of the meta, so just be aware of that when you are picking Bruno. And speaking of falling out of the meta, Carrie comes in and she's usually all only used to be able to be going against tanky teams and she's also not bad at all against going versus assassins because she's uh naturally pretty tanky she has those dashes and she can overall do pretty good damage to the assassins due to the uh true damage and she's naturally tanky due to items like endless battle thunderbelt and queen's wings that almost all carries build at this point if you're having even more problems you can even build uh, warrior boots would just give her a little bit of extra defense going versus some assassins or tanks and you should be doing just fine with her i personally don't like carry that much after her nerfs but she's still a pretty solid pick against assassins and i might even try to pick her some more sometimes so you guys can see in my live streams when to uh when's the right time to pick carry moving on from carry when when is usually a pretty good last option when you have no clue what the enemy is doing with their draft uh, not necessarily that it's a bad draft it's just you do not know what could really be great when when's always pretty good versus that whenever i'm picking when when personally i feel like she's really good against selena's and kufra's those two always rely on stunning you and burning your purify but when when has literally no issue with that due to just being able to use her second skill every 10 to 15 seconds she's also not too bad against most dive heroes just because if the enemies do dive you you're just going to easily get that ultimate and you're going to be having a pretty good time on when when if they do start to dive you and all you have to watch out for is timing that second skill perfectly and uh, making sure you're farming right now on when i'm using the retribution veteran hunter combo which helps her get her her gold very very quickly in the early game helps her not be invaded as much too so you don't really have to worry about the invading aspect but that doesn't mean she's immune to it her early game is naturally weak for most assassin hyper carriers but quickly she becomes a lot stronger after you first building after you're done building your first two items demon hunter sword and corrosion scythe not in that order you build corrosion first but you get what i mean after, she's kind of like claude in that regard where she of course she's just naturally a pretty weak hero at the beginning of the game but if you just farm up consistently maybe get a kill or two and then you get that corrosion scythe i'm sure I, all of you random players know how much your corrosion scythe actually boosts your damage feels like a totally new hero it's almost like claude with demon hunter completely the same and you can just start going in and getting your ultimates very very quickly after that because you can start breaking more weakness points it's going to be a pretty good time and speaking of claude it's usually a pick that you don't want to be using too often since there are a lot of things that can be countering him such as chow kufra's atlases uh stuff like that whenever i see one of those this chow is probably the least threatening because he's just a side laner but the kufras and atlases you're going to be going versus them quite a lot you're going to be seeing them a lot since they are the tank they're gonna 
you know try to mess with you the chow can't really leave his lane that much in his game so he's generally just going to be on the other side of the map if you choose to gank the other side while the atlas and the kufra can always cancel your ult they can always catch you off guard and this is especially a problem if you do not build purify which i don't i use retribution and i use killing spree again for the early games that's one of my biggest concerns right now in mobile legends not trying to get invaded so I almost pack Retribution on every single hero here that I just listed, except for Bruno and Carry. Those are my only two exceptions, and I still use Purify on those two, along with Killing Spree. Uh, again, actually, all of these heroes that I just listed all use Killing Spree, except for one, which would be Wanman, since you do need that extra gold from Veteran Hunter. But, as I was going back, Chows and Kufas are usually what you want to stay away from on Claude. Also... Bruno can be really annoying on Claude because his early game damage hurts and he can kind of snowball pretty easily if your team doesn't get too many kills or you don't get too many kills. The Bruno will quickly start to overpower you. He farms faster since he does more damage early game and uh, stuff like that. So if you're going versus heroes, you're thinking about picking Chow and, or excuse me, Claude and then you see something like a Kufra or an Atlas, I would 100% suggest using Wen Wen since she's very similar in terms of uh, slowly farming up into an unstoppable force, but also she's just better than Claude when it comes to going versus Atlas's Chow's. Even, you know, Wan Wan completely counters Chow. As soon as you get kicked, pop your second skill and you barely even moved a foot and the Chow can't even follow up with his ultimate. So it makes those heroes that Claude is weak against very, very good for Wan Wan. And that's why you see me picking Wanman a lot sometimes because really she's almost like Roger to me. She's pretty good against really everything. Um, not many things can easily counter a very good Wanman. That's just how it is because she can always get her ultimate a lot and you can't really get invaded if you use Retribution and then you slowly just farm up. Whereas Claude, if you have some sort of enemy that uses a knockup or Kufra or stuff like that, you're never going to be getting your ultimate. And also, with Wen Wen, you're actually getting Purify and Retribution in one, and that's why I love her so much. Because you can use Retribution, and your second skill is just a Purify anyways, so you're getting two battle spells for just one hero, and it's really, really good. Anyways, guys, I hope this helped you out a little bit. I'm just trying to explain why I would pick some certain heroes in some certain situations versus other hyper carries. Tomorrow, or in the next few days, I will be making a guide for assassin hyper carriers and when to pick them, and what's good and bad versus them, what you want to be looking out for when you pick them. But that's going to be all for today. Hope this really helps you guys when you're deciding what hero to draft. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to subscribe, turn on those notifications, and uh, join the giveaway as well. Like the stream, give it to any of your marksman friends if they need help, uh, any of your squad mates, stuff like that, and I will see you all in tomorrow's live stream and tomorrow's video. Take care guys, peace out.